Hi, my name's Colin <clears throat> and I just thought I'd try and do a little video on uh, this device. This is not going to be a very professional video as I'm not an expert at doing videos. Anyway, um, some time ago I went looking for a completely self-contained mini eye gate sort of devices and this was one that uh, didn't show up on the internet when I was doing the searches. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've run an eye gate here at our home for some time. Uh, initially it was set up with a, a Yaesu FT2900 and a signal link and a mini computer. Um, which worked quite well. I have a Diamond X300 on the roof and uh, that worked really well. Anyway, I uh, thought I would try and make it a little bit simpler. So uh, I got a, a Raspberry Pi 3B and... Um, Put Direwolf on there and connected the same radio and signal link to that and uh, and got that working quite well. Anyway, after seeing this little device, I uh, I thought well this would be even easier too. Um, it's got a uh, a receiver built into it, uh, so what you see basically is all you need. Uh, an external antenna on the roof will improve the uh, the signal pickup obviously, and uh, that's it. It will Wi-Fi. Uh, direct to your router and onto the internet and uh, away you go so <clears throat> anyway we'll have a, a closer look at it um, this is the iGate mini as the uh, as the name says and if you go on their website you will get a, a lot more information it tells you how to set it up and everything is on there okay just looking at one end there you can see we have a Wi-Fi antenna there is a GPS antenna, which I'll show you in a minute, and the VHF antenna. Not a lot to the unit, really. All very simple. Uh, quite a nice aluminium black housing. Um, I've added on. It doesn't seem to get very warm. <clears throat> on this end, there is um, an Ethernet connection. USB, I'm not too sure what that's for. Probably something to do with when it's uh, initially configured. You can see a little LED red light and next to that is a, a mini USB which is where the where the power input goes. Okay, so basically uh, I unscrew this VHF antenna off and then I use this little device um, which just replaces the antenna and then you can screw a PL259 um, with your coaxial antenna on there and uh, away you go you've got your external antenna working this is the uh, optional GPS antenna which you can connect and it will automatically find your your, your location your position your lats and longs um, I haven't tried this um, I just put my lats and longs into the configuration and um, yeah, just straight there, straight onto the uh, APRS FI, and uh, away you go. Um, this power supply didn't come with the unit. This is one that I bought myself, and uh, yeah, two amps or more seems to be adequate. Just the usual cable there that uh, connects it all up. So, well, that, that's about it, really. Most of the information's on the website, so I would suggest you go on the website and uh, have a read, have a look. And um, yeah, uh, I'm in Australia. This was sent from uh, from America, and it took a little over two weeks to get here. Arrived in uh, really, really good packaging. So uh, yeah, I'm very impressed. All right, well, I hope that helps anyone that's uh, thinking of getting a, a completely sort of self-contained mini eye gate unit. Uh, we have a digipeter about 30k away. Um, I don't set up a digipeter uh, for various technical reasons, um, which I'm not going to go into. But the digipeter in the area is really, really good. It just doesn't cover our area too well. Uh, we have a lot of hills, some people call them mountains in our area and it does cause us a few issues getting packets from our vehicles when we're local into the system. So that's the main reason for the eye gate. Uh, but our eye gate now receives all the traffic from the digipeter, sometimes up to 100 k's away. 
and the whole system works really really well so uh, we're actually complementing the APRS system in our area I guess okay that about wraps it up so thanks for watching and uh, I hope it was helpful to you okay